Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. This tutorial is on how to fix Virtual Router Plus could not be started. This error here. Now, now the technique that I'm going to show you works most times, not all the times. Okay? So just right click Network, go to Properties, change Adapter Settings, and here this is a connection that Virtual Router Plus created. Now the one on the right is my regular Wi-Fi from my laptop. Now instead of disabling local area connection, the one created by Virtual Router Plus, I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi. Now we can disable local area connection created by Virtual Router Plus, but that would be in case this method doesn't work. All you need to do is disable, re-enable, go back to Virtual Router Plus and restart the uh, the Virtual Router Plus. Everything should, should work out okay. Perfect. The reason why I didn't disable the connection created by Virtual Router Plus is because it might not let me re-enable it. So that's why I usually leave that as a last resort. I'll show you what I mean right now. This is the connection here created by Virtual Router Plus. I'm going to go ahead and disable it like I did previously to my Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to go ahead and start Virtual Router Plus. I'll stop it first and then restart it. Now Virtual Router Plus could not be started and now there's no easy way to try to fix this because the connection created by Virtual Router Plus does not appear anymore under my network connections. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. If it doesn't help, I'll try to look for additional uh, tweaks that we can do to make it work. Thank you.